I'm Charlene Stevens, the City Administrator for the City of Cottage Grove. Joining me today for Council Update is Council Member Steve Dennis. Today we're going to discuss the 2017 through 2021 Capital Improvements Plan Workshop. Council Member, we had a workshop following our Council meeting on the uh, 18th to talk about our Capital Improvements Plan. And we do a five-year plan every year. And, you know, maybe we want to talk about some of the things that are in that and what that Capital Improvements plan covers. I can and uh, you know again we look at it kind of a five-year segment to try to map out and get a little bit in front of this mm -hmm. from a, a planning process because there's a lot of moving parts here and we deal with some big numbers and we are a community of course that is in a state of growth yep. and that's something that uh, you know really is, is a message I'd love the community to hear because we have a lot of things planned and it's going to be good as we move forward so the uh, discussion we had uh, included multiple projects including the pavement management, um, a shared public safety training facility, some potential future city facility upgrades, and road projects that are driven, of course, by some of these um, commercial and residential developments that will be coming online. Okay, and the timing of our capital improvements projects is a little different than our budget timing. So the council had their workshop uh, at the 18th, and then it'll go before the Planning Commission later in January, and then you'll have another chance to look at it as the council at your February 1st. Yeah, and one of the one of the nice things, we have a, a set of checks and balances here in terms of how we run our local government. So in this case, we have the Planning Commission, which is made up of community volunteers who will come in, and they're gonna hold a public hearing on this, and that'll be on January 23rd, and this is a, a part of the requirement that we have for amending our comprehensive mm -hmm. plan. Okay, and then let's talk about maybe some of the big projects that were in there. So um, it's a big number, but in 2017, we're looking at about $31.5 million worth of projects, and they fall in some different areas. And some of the big ones that we've talked about before, but you probably want to touch on is, of course, we could maybe start with the Central Fire Station. We've talked about that a few times in the past year. Yeah, and, and you know, one of, our, one of our primary details, and we have a lot of, of, of requirements and details to serve the community here. Uh, one of the primary things is to make sure we're providing a safe and secure place for people to live here in Cottage Grove. So ensuring that we have the right services and the right tools in place is very important in those moments of need. So we've been working on a project for a new central fire station that will come in right around $9 million mm -hmm. as it's currently built. And this will actually uh, take uh, place in construction on the current fire station two site right on 80th Street. So the new facility uh, will house all of our equipment, uh, provide you know room for training, and just be a great facility to uh, meet our needs here as we go forward. And a couple other projects that we also have that we talked about last evening um, were our number of road projects. So we've got work on 70th and 65th, and a couple of county roads too running through our community. Yeah, and it's again, folks, it's it's going to be another year of road construction and. And we certainly do understand that there are some inconveniences that come with the growth, but we're really trying to set the table here for all of the good economic development activity that will result as a matter of having that infrastructure in place. So one of the uh, primary projects is 70th Street. We're calling that the Phase 1 Upgrade, and it's a project uh, costing about $5.2 million. It'll start down at Highway 61, come all the way up the hill and all the way to Hinton Avenue. So there will be some good safety improvements, additional turn lanes, um, turn signals and of course an improved, improved roadway surface that uh, will serve us nicely in that area. Additionally, we have a uh, project up on 65th Street, which is in conjunction with uh, School District 833. It's about a $4.3 million uh, project that uh, will, will go alongside of the new middle school that we have coming in there. And along with that, there's potential for, for some new housing developments and everything too, so that should be very exciting. And we've got some county projects that are also going on in our community, and we've been working with our partners in Washington County to move these projects forward again, and they help facilitate growth, and you've got a couple of those to touch on. Yes, and I'd, I'd first like to, to thank the county for their investments here. Um, you know, we're the second largest city in Washington County, and uh, always getting a requisite return on our tax dollars is very important to all of our community mm -hmm. members. So uh, they're giving us some really nice projects here. One of them is going to be on County Road 19 and East Point Douglas. It's going to be a roundabout and reconstruction project, totaling about $4.15 million. Uh, this will include realignment of the road, um, the six-legged roundabout, there's going to be a bridge and overpass over 61, um, otherwise known as Innovation mm -hmm. Road down in that area. Um, in addition to that, we have um, some department projects that will include extensions to both West Point Douglas Road and 100th Street, 
and reconstruction of West Point Douglas from Belden to Jamaica with a potential slip lane to assist in traffic flow. All right, and then we've got some pavement management um, as well as our Hero Center in there as well. So We do, and uh, the, the pavement management, um, this is zone F3 and B1, and those are going to total about $1.9 million. And we actually did um, work on that already uh, mm -hmm. as well with last year's council to certify those projects. And then the Hero Center, um, which is something that we're greatly looking forward to, is an opportunity to have a wonderful facility that will allow us to have training um, for our law enforcement uh, uh, operations. And this can act as an opportunity to bring people to our town to spend money, to partake. Mm -hmm. um, we can charge potentially some fees for the work that, uh, that is performed there, and uh, it should be a great draw for our area. So we're, uh, we're hoping that the state is gonna fund that this year mm -hmm. with a bonding bill um, that would be about 50% funded by the state of Minnesota. Otherwise, it's a joint effort between the city of Cottage Grove and Woodbury. So it's very exciting, and we can't wait to see that happen. All right, so a number of projects that we're gonna be working on in the coming years. So for more information about the Capital Improvement Plan, contact the city's Finance Director Robin Rowland. Thank you, Councilmember Dennis. Mm -hmm.